All right. Hi, good afternoon to everyone. My name is Song Jie, and Azure has curated a list of several tools that are useful for SMEs, um, and uh, they are easy to adopt and that you can put to use in this current situation. So in this next se segment of the webinar, we will get to hear about these solutions and how they can help your business. Now I'd like to introduce Ms. Sharon Teo to, kick to kickstart this portion of the webinar. Sharon is chairperson of SG Tech's Singapore Enterprise Chapter, and the chapter comprises of local SMEs who are in the business of solving customer issues with digital tools. All right, without further ado, over to you, Sharon. Thank you, Song Jie. Hi, everyone. Um, just a quick introduction about our Singapore Enterprise Chapter for SG Tech. We are a chapter that specializes in prioritizing our local tech enabled businesses to grow within and beyond Singapore. So in this community effort to support our SMEs and startups, uh, SEC embarks on this solution toolbox to showcase some of the off-the-shelf solutions and platforms to help our SMEs survive this current crisis and transform your business for the future. Now today, um, in the past series, I just want to share, we have a couple of solutions like for week one, we have uh, solutions that are offering from um, staff management to even work from home solutions. And in the second series, we actually had quite a couple of work from home uh, solutions that you can also explore and communication solutions. And uh, the, the recent two this week were on data protection. For some of you who are concerned about after you have uh, collect some of these customers' data, what are you going to do with it? And um, yesterday, we just had one, which is on uh, security-related solutions in how you actually protect your company uh, on any potential security attacks or perhaps even um, phishing content and stuff like that. So if you want to check out the past solutions, Solution Toolbox series, please uh, click on to the isolation.sg web page and look for the SME Solution Toolbox page for it. Now, today is a very, very exciting uh, session where we have eight companies uh, to share with you on their solutions. What we'll do is uh, after the four companies has uh, introduced their solutions and platform, uh, we will take in the Q&A. And after that, we'll continue with the other four and I'll do the last round of Q&A. Of course, in between, uh, Song Jie will also call out to you guys to actually do the survey for us on uh, some of the solutions that you've listened so far, whether you would like to contact them and so on. So uh, without further ado, uh, may I just pass this back to Song Jie? Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Sharon. Okay, now it's time to check out the solutions we have in the toolbox today. And yeah, just, uh, just a reminder to all the attendees, any questions that you have during these presentations, you can address them in the Q&A panel at the bottom of the interface. Okay, so first up, let's have Elvin from Amazon to present his solution. Elvin? Hi, everyone. So I'm Elvin. So just give me a minute. Let me share my screen. All right. Just... All right. Hi, uh, very good afternoon. Thank you, Song Jie and Sharon for sharing. I'm Alvin from Amazon. And today I'll be sharing with you how you can leverage on Amazon to expand your business. So without further ado, let's get started. So briefly sharing with you an overview of Amazon. So this is our global footprint. Amazon has 18 global sites, including Amazon.sg. And we are currently having 300 million worldwide active customers across 185 countries. So this really shows that um, Amazon is a trusted platform for many and we are growing rapidly. And just briefly sharing with you our mission to be earth most centric uh, to be earth most customer centric company where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. So in terms of customer centric from Amazon point of view, it's not just about end consumer. It's also about selling partners like businesses yourself, developers and companies and content creators. So then you'll be asking me, Alvin, so why Amazon Singapore? So I'd like to share with you some differentiating points that we have. So Amazon allows you to reach out to a wide audience in Singapore and around the world with 100 million paid Prime members. And in Singapore alone, we have hundreds and thousands of paid Prime members. This really shows the growth and the strength we have in Singapore. So next is really about growing your business and scaling your business with fulfillment by Amazon. In short, to really to remove all the operational concerns that you might have. So I'll be sharing with you further uh, in the next couple of slides. And lastly, to enjoy uh, account management for Singapore to support you throughout your starting a new businesses on Amazon. 
So in terms of uh, account managed support, so uh, my team and I will be um, assisting you on onboarding, listing optimization, share with you what the upcoming deals and campaigns that you want, that you can participate in, and definitely how you can leverage on fulfillment by Amazon to take away all the operational headaches that you have. So what is fulfillment by Amazon? So in short, it means um, you just need to focus on selling a product. Amazon will ship the product for you and will manage all the operational concerns that you might have. Especially important right now during the COVID situation where resources are tight, manpower are tight. Let Amazon do the heavy lifting of operational for you. In a sense that Amazon will be able to help you pick, pack and ship your orders to the end customer. We'll be helping you with the storage, customer service and return if there is any, as we have associate round the clock to um, reach out to the um, buyers. And definitely for fulfillment by Amazon, since the product are stored in Amazon warehouse, we will be able to offer a free one day domestic delivery to our prime members. And in, in the world of Singapore, I think um, um, the buyers are very excited and they want fast shipping or one day delivery. That is the expectation. If, even so during such a COVID situation where some things they need it and they need it pretty urgently. And lastly, Fulfillment by Amazon allow you to participate in our campaigns and some of the exclusive that are Prime member eligible deals. The next, I think the questions that you might have is, so what are the um, good or top traffic or top sales product on Amazon website? So these are the category. I think this is pretty in line with what Ivan shared earlier about the trend in Singapore where we see toys, electronics, kitchen, PC products, and in terms of consumable, we have baby, health and personal care, and beauty. So if you are already selling in this category, I think it gives you in a good position to start uh, considering e-commerce online. However, if some of the categories that you see here is not what you are currently selling, I think not to worry because each of you, business owner, I, I believe you have identify the niche and market you want to tap in Singapore. And this is just a guidance of the generic uh, category that's doing well in Singapore. Next, I'd like to share with you some seller anecdotes. I'd like uh, to draw attention to our second seller, Jin, and the last statement that she made. Uh, Amazon also take care of all the fulfillment needs so that we can focus on growing the business and our brand. So this is really about leveraging fulfillment by Amazon. Let us do all the operational work for you because uh, most of the SME that we speak to operation is really a big concern because they are worried about manpower. Do they need their own delivery? Free? Do they need to commit additional time to manage others' orders? So let Amazon do this for you. So briefly, I'm going to touch on the grants. In terms of eligibility, I believe Alvin from Enterprise Singapore has shared. So I just wanted to share with you the coverage from Amazon. So we have a great spectrum of co service coverage from foundational, where we focus on content development, product listing, to operational, where channel management and fulfillment is covered, and definitely marketing, uh, be it on-site marketing or off-site marketing. And definitely training and support will, will be offered throughout this entire journey with Amazon, where we will plan and encourage you to pick up and join in our workshop. So I just want to emphasize that this service are highly customizable based on your individual business need. So depending on which stage of the business you're at, for example, maybe today you are SMEs with little or no, ex no experience selling online, you might want to focus more on um, the foundation where you focus more on copywriting and photo taking. Um, whereas if today you are the SME that has experience selling online, yeah, you have all the photos taken, you might want to put more emphasis on marketing and operational uh, spectrum of your business to really scale your business. Business. So how to get started? Um, you can sign up this, uh, via this link, amzn.to slash ESG. Do indicate uh, SG Tech as one of the source that you reach out to us and prepare to, to sign an account with Amazon. Do prepare a passport and bank statement. This is for account verification purposes. And this is my last slide. If you have any uh, inquiries, feel free to drop us an email or follow us on Facebook. With that, uh, thank you. And Song Jie, over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Elvin. Next up, we have Reda from Lazada to present her solution. Rita? Hi, can you hear me? See me? Yep, loud and clear. Okay, just going to get my presentation up. Can you see that? Um, not yet. Have you shared the presentation? Okay. Yep. Good now? Yep, all good. Over to you. Okay, great. 
Hi, everybody. Um, I hope everybody is keeping well and practicing safe uh, distancing. I'm Rida here to represent the Zara. Uh, I lead the acquisition team for the new retail team. Um, as you all know, we're in exceptional times, uh, personally and professionally. And what we do and what we learn or how we strategize uh, now during this time is going to play a great part in the, how we shape our businesses and ourselves personally in the future. Um, I've always told all my sellers, even in the past when I've been doing pitches, that uh, online uh, and e-commerce needs to be a part of your long-term plans. I think today I'm here to emphasize the same, but the need is more immediate and urgent. And as a company, Lazada wants to help our sellers by building a leading eco um, e-commerce ecosystem for long-term advantage. Um, so we're here to help you get kick-started immediately, but our goal is to help build you a sustainable long-term business. Um, this image uh, lays out well the resources that Lazada has uh, as a company uh, because of our backing of Alibaba Group. And this gives us an edge over our um, competitors in this market to help our sellers uh, succeed. Uh, we have the group super e-businesses that we leverage, we have the channels and we have the tools uh, that support consumer engagement. Uh, across Southeast Asia, we've built a amazing logistics network, which in a lot of countries is uh, operated by us ourselves. In Singapore, we have what we call the Fulfilled by Lazada model, which is quite uh, useful in today's day when uh, sellers, it's difficult to interact and some sellers may not be eligible to be selling right now, but if uh, they are on the FPL model, then we can help them take care of uh, warehousing, picking, packing, and fulfilling orders uh, within a short period of time. The other advantage that Lazada has is the customer base. And the customer base that we have due to our grocery Redmart channel is a very sticky customer base. So the average grocery customer shops about 1.5 times a day, um, uh, sorry, a month. Uh, currently we see that being at more than 2X of that number. We feel that even when things normalize and we come out of this COVID um, period, we will see the new normal being somewhere much higher than 1.5. Uh, so this for our sellers is exceptional because they can tap into customers uh, from other channels also because we do a lot of effort to cross pollinize uh, our channels. Um, how do we help our sellers succeed? Some of the tools that we have, again, driven by the very, very strong technology that we have uh, are uh, tools to help sellers increase visibility, reach out to customers, build their uh, brand equity, drive conversion, and also help repeat purchases. Some of the, the very uh, powerful five tools that we have are called Store Builder. This helps create uh, the storefront for the customers and also create the journey that the customer goes through while purchasing. Lorikeet helps with actually the product display pages and the depth of content that you want to put in and variations and uh, sizing, et cetera. Instant messaging is an extremely key tool. And of course, seller picks and how to boost your products is really important. For us, the power of five, these tools is super important because this is how we benchmark and we look at the success of a customer. Any, cust uh, sorry, any seller who adopts these tools should be a successful selling seller within the online world. Uh, the other tools that we have to uh, enable our sellers are our engagement and awareness tools, which in today's world are really, really important. So we have the live streaming tool, we have the guess it tools where we use KOLs and strong media activation, and then we have last games, uh, which helps during campaigns. The one I'll touch upon the most right now is live streaming because during the COVID period, what we've noticed is that this has been super useful. We've used this to engage with our customers, educate our customers, and also entertain our customers. We've done yoga live streams around fitness. We've done cooking shows. And apart from educating the customer or helping them in their daily routine, we've also given them the option to purchase what's required by them in this. What we've also noticed during this period, of course, is our staple categories, which are really uh, big for us, which are mother and baby, groceries and beauty, but we've seen a rise in other categories which is around stationery, uh, music, books, home appliances, uh, the 
couple of things which we have we've seen exceptional growth is A for paper, driven by work from home and uh, potting soil. Suddenly everybody wants to be a gardener, everybody wants to be a chef. So it's a pretty interesting time that we're in. Uh, so I'm not gonna, uh, these are our e-commerce packages. Uh, I'm not gonna go into them on, in depth because they're very easy available, easily available online. What I would like to talk about is if you were to join the Lazada e-commerce program, as soon as you purchase the uh, package, you will be dedicated a key account manager. Uh, during the current situation, this is gonna be a virtual key account manager, but this person is gonna help guide you and handhold you through the 90 day, what we call incubation period, which is setting you up, uh, getting your products online, training, learning how to use the PO5 tools that I mentioned earlier, and make, you know, fulfillment, ship, shipping, and all of that. So this is gonna be like your buddy system, and they're gonna guide you through this. Uh, this is not offered regularly to people, but because of the e-commerce booster package, we will be offering this to all of our sellers. Um, and that's about it. Thank you for listening. Uh, we're here to help. If you need more information, you can visit our website. Thank right, you. Thank you so much, Veda. Thanks. Okay, next up, we have Justin from Shopee to present his solution. Justin? Hello everyone, uh, my name is Justin. I'm representing Shopee today uh, to tell you about our ESG e-commerce booster package and how we can help you through the COVID crisis. Um, let me just go into a bit of details of what Shopee is about. So you've heard about uh, Amazon and Lazada already, later you have a Q10. Um, Shopee, um, if you have never used it before, I hope you have, uh, is Singapore's number one shopping app. So at the moment, um, Shopee is the most downloaded app uh, on both App Store and Android. And we do boost uh, a huge uh, daily active user base in Singapore as well. Uh, we also one of the most affordable platforms out there, uh, whereby you don't have to pay any commission or set up fee to sell on us. Uh, and when you say sell on us, right, you can sell almost anything on us as well. There's virtually no limits on what you can sell. So um, to go into a bit of details of what we sell well and what is selling well during this COVID crisis or so, um, the best categories Typically speaking, uh, electronics, uh, groceries, uh, fashion uh, on Shopee. But during this COVID crisis, um, obviously, as uh, the previous two presenters have mentioned also, uh, the best things that we sell are personal care, baby needs, uh, home and living, because everyone just want to try out some different uh, new hobbies at home as well. So if you sell these products, perfect. If you don't, um, still do try, because there's virtually no limits of what you can sell. If you are F&B outlets, if you're selling food, um, do try as well because we have a huge community uh, uh, in, in buying up frozen food, fresh food, and also uh, looking out for dining vouchers, looking out for manicure vouchers, looking out for different service vouchers as well. Uh, to deep dive into the e-commerce booster package, this is also why everyone is here today to listen. Um, we offer four different core services for you. So um, the first is incubation. Incubation is a 12-week program whereby Shopee offers you uh, uh, an account manager to handhold you through using different marketing features and to try them out for free as well. So as uh, SBF colleagues earlier have mentioned, right, to set up your store online is not really quite enough. The most important thing is you have to market them well. So in order to market them well, how to do it, the best way to do it is to learn from our experiences as an e-commerce platform. So for that 12 weeks, we'll talk you through different marketing features. So what are they? What are these marketing features, right? Um, look at the a and session, advertising and promotion sessions. So the most prominent ones on Shopee, if you're a Shopee user, you should know already flash deals. How do you use it? What kind of products do you sell on them? And how do you actually sell more for the next flash deals? Uh, look at live stream. So live streaming, as mentioned, one of the best features to use during COVID crisis as well. People love the entertainment online. People love to watch content. And then for you, it's a great opportunity to translate these content watching into conversion. What else? Try Shopee My Ads. Try to go and purchase Shopee credits and to move your products up in terms of search rankings strategically, not anyhow, because this one is actually very scientific. It's very similar to how Google SEM works. We must teach you how to use it and then after the incubation program, you know how to use it. 
And check out fulfillment also. Shopee's e-commerce booster package also helps your fulfillment in a sense that we sponsor our free, shop, uh, free shipping and also 10% coins cashback package. So today, select the sellers on our platform on Shopee, subscribe to the 10% cashback program. How does it work? So at the moment, if I'm a buyer, if I buy from a 10% cashback seller, every $10 I spend, I get $1 back in Shopee coins. And who pays for these Shopee coins? Actually, uh, three cents is on you and seven cents is on us. So it's a very good deal for you, for Shopee and also for the buyer as well. And for that cost, we're also subsidizing during this e-commerce booster package. And four is marketing. So at the end of the day, we also want to make sure that our buyers in Singapore are supporting local. So if you go onto Shopee's page today, you already can see different product tags that indicates a seller is local and the shout out is always support local. So for this, we actually custom made it just for the e-commerce booster package to make sure your products are not lost in the 10 million plus product listings that we have on our platform also to prioritize you, to make sure that you get the first view, to make sure that you get the best conversion also. I won't go too deep into how our packages work, but basically it's split into two sessions and two packages. One is our startup package, which is $153, where you have a full package also, which is $1,000. In terms of which one you go for, I recommend if you have never tried e-commerce before, try a small one, try how it works. And after that, if Shopee really works for you, invest more in us. If you're very, very seasoned e-commerce professional, try the full package and go all out and actually use this within six months time. If it works very well, look for different marketing solutions for us as well after. So to round up, I think um, just to tell you how to sign up, email us today. Uh, on seller onboarding underscore SG at Shopee.com. Uh, we have a full team of four supporting this program. So please reach out and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. When you submit the documents, please submit your acre base file and also a description of your business nature for faster approval. And beware, this package closes at 30th of September, but we do have very limited slots. So do contact us as soon as you can. And if you have any other questions, Apart from writing to us, you can also visit us at shopee.sg to find out more as well. That's all from my side. Thanks. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. Okay. Before we have the next speaker, just like to remind all the attendees that you can address your questions using the Q&A panel. And then we will address, this, we will address those questions after the, the next speaker. Okay. Next up, we have Sam from Q10. Sam? Hi, everybody. So uh, let me just share my deck. All right, so whole, uh, good afternoon, and I hope everybody's keeping well during this uh, COVID-19 period. So uh, I'm Sam from Q10. Uh, just let me share with you what Q10 is offering today. Now, before I begin, for all those who are wondering about going online and starting their own online business, I think uh, do bear in mind this very simple e-commerce equation, traffic time conversion rate equals to sales. Now, in simple context, please bear in mind traffic. It will be probably the biggest stumbling block. So in terms of the ESG and the booster program, I think uh, for the very first step or the immediate things that um, the government can help is to actually look into marketplaces whereby we are already among the top few most traffic platforms. So you, in short, you really have really full of traffic, almost free at your fingertips, all right? So do, do consider this uh, for the very first step. Moving on, of course, you can always consider your other online plans. All right, just a quick introduction. What's the marketplace? Basically, marketplace can sell anything. A to Z, anything understand from frozen food, bar, corn, where to gadgets and everything. That's what a marketplace is all about. Now, today, uh, we have more than 3 million registered um, buyers, and they're one of the, yeah, the oldest, the first and the oldest uh, marketplace in Singapore, coming 10 years and already been nine years in this company. All right, so in marketplaces, the payment gateways are provided by site owners, or like by QPAN. And we do have this escrow function that hold payment in trust to protect both buyers and sellers. Now, this service fee will be levied based on success, all right? Okay, so this is a quick introduction in terms of a quick snapshot of the payment options available for shoppers. So shoppers, if they don't have credit card, they can choose this, they choose that. So they get 7-Eleven if they want a grab pay, if they want, they want to maximize the grab pay rewards or whatever. 
for all these are available. So these are the advantages that you can find in K10, all right, even for short business. Right, for our full transparency sake, because all of you will be asking what's the service fee, all right, look. Now the, when you join our platform, you will start off as a standard seller. Now for items that is uh, transacted at below $200, you'll be 12%. And for big ticket items, there's over a thousand dollars. It will be nine percent. Right. So if you progressively uh, get more and more successful, you promote it to from standard two to power, and you enjoy a lower tier of service fee and a shorter payment fee, uh, payment fee. Now, if you look at the earlier slide about these payment gateways and all this, right? They do levy that one percent to two percent any charges whenever you use their payment gateways. All right, so this, uh, this platform fees already are inclusive of all those charges. Now, another benefit that uh, for shoppers is that we, as a platform, we do issue out cut discount coupon, and this discount coupon is at our expense. It can go up to 20%, all right? And for sellers, if you are considering, say, a store-wide discount coupons, say 20% or even 30% is really at your decision. Now your 20% is stackable with our cut coupon. So one plus one or 20% plus 20%, it magnify, amplify the benefits to shoppers and we try to bridge the price difference to enable the, uh, our shoppers to buy from your shop and perhaps make it more competitive than those sellers, uh, China sellers that's available in uh, certain platforms. All right, this is the quick snapshot of the dashboard that sellers will be handling. All right, then this is the flow, this thing, then you see the promotion, order fulfillment, there's a shipping, and then the settlement of payments, and uh, of course, the dreaded customer service. Now, the promotion, what I put the DIY is basically, all these tools are at your fingertips. The platform do not control your destiny, your success. You, you basically have control of what you want to do or things you like to do. All right, so on the first table on the left, the view plus, this basically are discount-based promotion. So you're talking about, talking about, say, very you did discount, maybe you're considering the time sale. So these are discount-based kind of uh, promotion to drive your sales. You decide, all right? You decide the discount that you want to give for how long and for which period. Now, the next one, of course, if you're not talk about, talking about, say, discount, I want to do about advertisement by itself, passive, maybe mm, practical kind of um, campaigns. Well, we have the keywords for you to bid on, and maybe you bid on certain brand, of course you could do that, or you just have to target categories in our site, yes you can. And even our homepage, that's the, we call this the main two special banner. That's the big rectangle banner that you find on our homepage itself. That is up for you to put up your own banner. Now the third box from the left, uh, the admons or the short affiliate, this is an affiliate program where my sellers can use our existing affiliate program to set up rewards for shoppers to share to their friends and their network and be rewarded for their effort from you. All right, so, and the last table of course will be the shop event. At the store level, instead of doing item level kind of promotion, you want to consider a shop level, you, you can actually do a YouTube store coupon and perhaps even next activities that you like to engage with is to get followers to your shop and that becomes your database where you can message them for free from our system, all your dashboard. Okay, this is just another um, tool you can consider under all the, the promotional tools. This is external advertisement that is at your fingertips. All right, so there will be print ads, there's a quote branded kind of advertisement in certain uh, SPH uh, papers that is also available for, for your children. Now you've done all the, say, the uploading and um, Promotion here, yeah, we have some insights for you to share. You can look at the number of photos from each country and increase the date. So, and of course, we'll seek to get as many of these followers as possible to follow your shop. Right, these are other measurements of analytics and insights. Now, for this slide itself, this is a shop level. We'll provide you some page view insights, say for 30 days, how much page view you get to your shop, right? How many cuts? were added in this period, so you have to add to cart rate. And of course, there will be a traffic flow. How many of that traffic or the page goes to your items and goes to that, those special thematic pages that you might have created for your business. Now below will be the item level. Here you have a, a micro snapshot of your item level 
how much traffic you're getting for this item, how much sales, and you have the conversion rate. Today, the last seven days and the last few weeks. All right, so we just take a snapshot. I'll skip this. I'll go straight to the cuts of the packages for, for the new rate. Now, first take note that coupon packages are all a la carte, all right? You do not have to take any like $1,000. It's piecemeal, choose what you like, and eat more of what you like if you want, all right? So they are stackable. Now, to start off with, I'll introduce this starter kit A. Now, for net $300, the $100 seller registration, $100 will be great. We will be assisting with the photo taking, design, and uh, display creation for up to 50 SKUs. And there will be a account manager that will be hand holding you for six months to guide you to teach you how to use the dashboard, to do the promotion, and such. And of course, on top of that, you'll still be getting $500 worth of marketing credits that you can use on all the tools that I've shown earlier in my slide. Okay? Now, the difference between A and B is just upsize to 100 screws. All right. The next uh, package will be for those sellers who already have their digital access to pack shots and everything. I do not need those. I will only need, say, marketing support. Consider this. This net base is $200. You'll get $2,000 worth of QCash or our marketing credits. So what you can do for this $2,000 credit, for example, okay, I feel good. Today I'll do some branding. $500, you get a homepage banner, 24 hours. All right? You'll be featured with your banner, your colors, or your text, or whatever, at the homepage itself. For $500, and then you can use this as the, from the marketing credits. All right, now for those who have digital assets, okay, whose brand were established, they do not need to do much of the AMT or the marketing, they just need logistic support. We might want to consider this, you can buy multiples of this if you like. Now, this starts from net basis $50, you get $500 worth of QExpress shipping credit. QExpress is a wholly owned logistic company, IQ10, and they have a very Pool of, uh, there's a spectrum of services that you can choose from for the last mile to the next day delivery or even the, for the for example, those cake sellers, they can use the three hours delivery time, not this moment, I know the home day is a little tricky. All right, but there's a lot of choices that you can pick from. All right, just a quick uh, introduction to one of the services will be the fulfillment service. Now they will help you to store, do the order processing and do the delivery and still all this will fall under still your own shopping to them. So they just, Synchronize is you do the stock take, synchronize it onto your online inventory and manage the order fulfillment and delivery for you. All right, that will be my last slide. Um, for those are interested, please email us at retailers at qtem.com. My colleague will reply you and we'll even give you a call. Uh, I think it's good to live in the human touch, especially during this isolation period. So now I will just end my, my presentation with this last note. Many of you will have this question in mind which platform do I choose since there's only one to enjoy the grant? So from my sincere, sincere bottom of my heart, I'll say the honest answer is to actually join all because each platform has their advantage and benefits and different demographics. Shopee perhaps will have the youngest kind of um, demographics. You can see, you can do some research for yourself. But at the end of the day, use this ESG grant, get your digital asset, get yourself ready and populate across all other platforms. There isn't any exclusivity cost among all the platforms. So please do go ahead for the best of your business moving forward after this COVID-19. Thank you very much. All right, thanks so much, Sam. Okay, now I'd like to go into the Q&A, but just before that, um, yeah, I'd like to bring your attention to the screen and the QR code. So this is our post webinar industry survey. Actually, you, you may go in there now to fill up um, your, your feedback, yep, and also indicate your interest for any of the solutions that have been presented so far. Okay, I think we've received quite a few questions already. I'll just leave the QR code on the screen and uh, I'll hand the time over to Sharon for the Q&A. Sharon? Thank you, Songjie. Wow, great. There's a lot of questions. Let me scan through. Uh, all right, I think I will, because um, I think Elvin started uh, on the uh, Amazon quite early. So there's some questions. Um, I noticed the earlier questions were talking about furniture. So um, there were questions about, um, we are dealing with custom size uh, products like mirror, tabletop, glass, or even furniture. Um, can any of these uh, e-commerce platform handle that? Um, I think there were some questions that probably uh, Amazon has answered. Um, and any of the rest of you would like to take this question? You can unmute yourself.
Alvin, do, yeah, okay. You, you done? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think earlier the question is on. Sorry, can you hear me? Yep. So the earlier some of you have asked us about uh, furniture. So there are, sorry, yeah. So there are furniture that are bigger, uh, bulky item in nature. So um, I think we have to work closely with the business uh, partners, uh, like SME, because of the big size in terms of profit margin. Most of them have concern. I've worked with partners that are concerned about profit margin. So I would say it will be, will be a case by case basis where we need to understand how big your item, because at our warehouse, we also have a limit of uh, how is the size we want to store. It's really for the safety of our associates that's moving the product as well. So it's really based on case by case basis. So if you have big and bulky item, do reach out to me directly so that we can understand what are the products that I'll recommend and what are the products that you might want to do self-fulfillment instead. That's, that's more my take on it. Okay. Um, right. Uh, can I answer yep, one Sam. question? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, um, um, this is to Gary Tan. Uh, good afternoon to you. Thank you for your question. Now, to Q10, uh, can sellers in Singapore sell overseas? The answer in short is yes. Once you register with our platform, say .sg, the next step in the dashboard, you actually are given a choice to sell to our Q10.com. All right, so it's just a natural progression from there. There's no extra step, your digital assets, your listings are done. It's just a duplicate into our international site. All right, there isn't any extra documents as required. Now, your second question is affiliate program. Is it a tool for sellers to provide unique links to get affiliate? Yes, it is. So every seller will have a unique affiliate identifier code. So in fact, all in our app itself, there is this right at the bottom center, there's this share link. And if you share it, then you can see there's this unique number. That is actually the affiliate code. You spam it to your WhatsApp group and they buy it, you will get the rewards. So it's that, that simple actually. So from the seller's point of view, you can actually give a incentivize it, an additional bonus percentage of it. 3% because Q10 is really giving 1%. So they want to share more of the product. So I, I, I'll just, uh, I hope I answer your question, Gary. Okay. So uh, for some of you who are asking for direct contact details, uh, please, please fill up our survey. We will certainly redirect some of your uh, interests to all these platform players to actually contact you. Please uh, use the QR code to scan the survey. Uh, there's a question, some questions for Lazada about your red packages. Um, service charges for both Marketplace and Last Mall. Rita, we don't want to answer them. Yeah, hi. Uh, so this is in response to, I think, um, Irene Day's question about what's the difference between Lazada Marketplace and what are the service charges for both of them. So the best analogy that I like to use always is uh, that we look at our entire app and platform like a mall. And in a mall, you have a typical layout. So you start in the basement and you've got services and grocery. And then there'll be a floor de dedicated to what is a department store. And then you'll see brand stores, maybe like a Nike flagship store or a Mac store. So the Lazada marketplace is like the department store. And Laz Mall is like the Nike flagship store. So if you are a brand owner or an official distributor, um, then you should be in Laz Mall to showcase your brand. But if you're a local seller who's just got a lot of products um, and... Um, the brand uh, is not as important, then Lazada Marketplace is a better place for you to be in. Uh, the difference as far as uh, charges go, uh, it's because of uh, the service that we provide to our last mall sellers. So last mall sellers have exclusive uh, access to some campaigns, overall higher search rankings, more slots for like uh, seller picks and things. So there's a 5% commission charge, only charge when a product sells. And for Lazada Marketplace, uh, there is no commission. So that's kind of the difference between these two uh, models. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, okay, um, for the Lazada charges, um, the, they are asking for it to display again. I'm not sure, um, can we do so? But meanwhile, uh, let me move on to other questions. Which charges are those? Uh, just um, from my notch, he's just saying uh, your charges page is not clear to request for you to display again. Yeah. Oh, you mean as in for the ESG program? Yes, yes. Another way what yes. I suggest is my notch can actually uh, uh, indicate your interest and then I'll just get um, Reda to actually get in touch with you. That would be great. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
and visit our website because the whole packages are listed there on the lazada.st uh, website. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, generic question asking whether will the slides be made available online. Um, I will request you to complete the survey and uh, we can certainly send the slides to you. And of course, you can visit the isolation.sg, um, post the webinar itself. Uh, okay, there's a very generic question. Are these uh, four platforms charging commission per successful transaction? And uh, I mean, as to how much it will be, I I'll leave you guys to talk about it in detail, but uh, just a generic one. Are you charging per successful transaction or not? Anyone want to take it first? Okay, then, yes, it's based on success. There's no monthly subscription or anything like that. It's just really purely based on sales. Yep, so Same for Lazada, uh, purely based on when the item sells on the website. Yep, uh, from uh, Alvin from Amazon. So monthly subscription fee is waived off to the end of the year, so not to worry. And we also charge uh, based on per sale item. Justin? Yeah, so for Shopee, um, can you hear me? So for Shopee, uh, we do not charge commission for Shopee marketplaces. So we charge 2.14% transaction fee per successful transaction on Shopee. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what, there's really a lot of questions. Uh, we have another four more speakers. Um, some of you, if you are the panelists who can see that the questions is directed at your company name, uh, do just type in directly while I, uh, I'll hand it over back to Song Jie for the other pan uh, panelists to actually present. Thank you. Back to you, Song Jie. All right, thank you so much, Sharon, and every everyone else to help to participate in the Q&A. Okay, so like Sharon said, um, the questions will be addressed by the panelists themselves in the Q&A uh, panel. So look out for that. All right, next up, can we have uh, Leonard from Carousel to present his solution? Leonard? Hi, uh, yes. Hold on, let me share my screen. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yep, that's good. Hi, this is Leonard, uh, the client success manager here at Carousel. Thank you so much for taking time to be here. In this circuit breaker situation, we do understand that right now it's a very difficult time for local retailers who actually do have their brick and mortar stores running, where they actually have to temporarily cease operations due to the tightening measures of the COVID-19 situation. But not to worry because Carousel is actually here to assist you where we're actually launching a 300,000 support local retailers grant for these local retailers to actually digitalize their operations for them to type over this difficult period. The criteria is actually for local retailers prior to this, they actually do not have a carousel account. That's number one. Number two, they will actually require a unique entity number for them to apply for this lo support local grant. After you are actually eligible for this grant, you will actually receive a notification from us and you'll be awarded up to $290 worth of, um, $200 worth of carousel coins and $90 worth of carol bees benefits. So just to share with you, um, to have a better understanding for carousel coins, is actually an in-app currency that we use to run ads on carousel. So $200 is actually up to 200,000 coins that you can run to pay for your listing fees where it's not only just for goods and goods, but it's also for services. So it's, let's say if I'm in the aircon service delivery, I can also advertise on carousel. Okay, and maybe just to share with you some of uh, the one of our seller tools, which is actually BUM, where the position of your listing actually does play a part in your um, sales. BUM is actually to push all your listings all the way to the top for that period of time. Let's say if I'm selling on airport case and I'm publishing in electronics, when I actually bump this listing, I'm pushing this listing all the way to the top of electronics so that people will be more aware about my brand, higher chance for them to check me up to eventually make the purchase. So that you can utilize with this $200 worth of carousel coins. The next one will be $90 worth of carol Beast features, where it's actually a value added services to help business to differentiate themselves from their competitors. What are the features? Um, one of the key features is actually video listings. So as you can see that on Carousel, um, maybe you might sometimes spot that this particular user is actually on a video listing. This is actually on a Carol Beast exclusive subscription, meaning to say that this video is actually able to showcase, let's say if I'm selling, selling a piece of shoe, with a video I'm able to showcase from all angles and me as a buyer myself, I'll be able to visualize how am I going to wear this shoe, what is the condition going to be like, what is the uh, price going to be like. So it's a great way for you to differentiate yourself from your competitors. And this is actually for three months in this support local grant. 
The third part will actually be free access for contactless payment and up to 50% subsidized delivery options. Free access contactless payment is actually based on our in-app wallet, which is carousel protection associated to your DBS pay. Lab. So during this difficult period, we want to stay in sync with the government in terms of prioritizing contactless delivery. So those listings that actually have carousel protection enablement will be prioritized in the search ranking. But you might be thinking that, hey, is it too expensive to mail out or deliver during this difficult period? Carousel actually got you covered and we took your feedback into consideration where we are actually collaborating with uh, companies like Blue and Gogo Van, where you're actually able to put a promo code and send up your items for as low as 1.25. For Blue, is actually um, 1.25, but for Gogo Van, it can be up to $3 or even to $5. So all of these, okay, um, if you actually know of anyone that is interested or is affected by the retailer, by the closure of their brick and mortar store, please feel free to recommend them. Uh, you can reach out to me at leonard.leong at thecarousel.com, apply by 29th of May. Okay, but then once you're actually on board, you might be thinking that what if I do not know how to use the seller tools? Not an issue because we actually got you covered. Our client success manager, like myself, will be reaching out to you personally to teach you on how to use on the seller tools to educate you and also to monitor the ads together because we believe that through this, you'll be able to learn more and we'll be able to get through this difficult period together. So alternatively, right now, you can go to carol.sl as you can see on the link there, carol, support local retainers, uh, retailers dash grant for you to learn more about this grant. And then uh, we can't wait to have you on board in this program. So I'll pass the, back, the time back to Song Jie. All right, thank you so much, Leonard. Next up, we have Jim from Firstcom to present his solution. Jim? Yep, hi everybody. Uh, I'll share my screen. Uh, can you see Songjie? Yep, can see. Yep. So hi everybody, my name is Jim. I'm the founder of Firstcom Solution and we've been around in the market for the last 10 years. So in the last one and a half years, we have had the opportunity to work together with IMDA under the SME Go Digital Program. And under this program, we have helped 800 companies break through and successfully bring their business online into e-commerce uh, space. So there are five uh, issues that uh, customers uh, always face and that is always uh, stopping them from going online. So I'm going to run through them uh, with you quickly. So first thing is content. So when you want to go online, the most important thing is for you to have nice visuals, nice content, and a lot of SME customers may not have this digitized in a format where they are ready to go. So do not worry because First Come Solution, we have 30 full-time employed photographers here in Singapore and we will be able to quickly come down and help you digitize all the beautiful content so as to help you be better represented online as you venture into e-commerce. Now the second point that we also see that uh, are stopping customers from going online is they want to have a very good user experience, uh, UI, UX for their customers. So we will, all our project executives are all trained in Singapore and having the experience of helping other SME go online, we will be able to quickly come up with the workflow that you want. And once the workflow is done, what you will receive is a website that is really tailor-made to you. So say for example, you're a seafood shop and you want to allow your customers to have the luxury of putting in maybe this piece of fish they want to individually pack for five days so that when they cook, they don't have to thaw all the fish all together. You will be able to do so. Or maybe you are a cake shop and you want to not only let people select the number of big or small candles, you also want to let people uh, have the option of topping up to have premium candles or even premium messages. All these things can all be done at the workflow stage. So do not worry about the user interface. Now the third part is we, uh, in the midst of helping a lot of SME business customers build their e-commerce website, we see that uh, not all of them have CRMs, not all of them have ERP. Some of them, even if they do, they do not they do not have the right version where it's ready for integration. So we can customize the backend to suit exactly the way that you want. And e-commerce websites all have automation processes within it. So you do not need to use the processes as what it is. We can customize it for you. So just give you a typical example. Let's say there are five statuses from people placing an order into receiving the order and every single one of them will trigger an auto email notification. Now, if you do not think this through carefully and you go ahead with this, uh, what would happen is that if you have an administrator and sometimes this administrator may not be very tech savvy, that this person will have to process if you have 100 orders, 500 statuses. Now that would really be a huge problem. So we will be able to customize and dwindle this down the back end. If you are not able to integrate into your existing system, no worries. We can help you generate performer invoices, tax invoices, sales invoices, packing 
shopping list, packing orders, anything that you require, we'll be able to customize it for you. Now, the fourth thing is, Going into e-commerce, the most important thing is what's next, right? So a lot of business owners think that, oh, now that I'm online, then what's going to happen next? So what's next is really to prepare for recurring orders. All our project executives here in Singapore, after helping 800 customers gone online in the last one and a half years, will be able to discuss with you on the probability and possibility of how to use your own reward point system. And, and it's really very dynamic. You can let people earn points and points can be used to redeem items or points can also be used to have a stop value so that they are able to gain discounts the next time. And the possibility is endless. And if this is not uh, the re recurring platform uh, systems that you want, you can always install more, right? So the next part that we always see in helping customers, uh, that is stopping customers to go online is really in how they want to know what's next. So a lot of them after digitize the business, you, you, you may feel that, hey, uh, what am I gonna do next, right? So very, very easy tool and tip to tell you is that you can just lay out the calendar all the way and from April all the way to uh, March, these are all the dates that are, that are coming. And, 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 and if, let's say, for example, you want to plan for something in August, uh, which is National Day, you do not need to wait until August to prepare the bundle, to prepare the promotion. You are actually able to uh, prepare it all the way right here in April. And that will save you up a lot of time and that will make your website really, really very relevant. And when people come into your website, you will be able to make sure that they have the experience that they want. Now, all our digital marketing executives are trained to give value back to our customers. So if you come and uh, arrange a meeting with anyone of us, we will, from a third party standpoint, consumer standpoint, generate 30 article ideas back to you. So this is a sample that we have done for a, a wine company. So all this content, when we present this back to business owners, they will always cherry pick a few and they want to immediately work on this so that it can give more uh, flavor and more style back into their own uh, e-commerce website. So these are all excellent uh, 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 topics, but you can pick certain one of them. So one more example is for seafood. So think about it. If you do not write all these things, then what are we going to show on your your e-commerce website is going to be your company is the best, the products are the best. So let's not want to do that because you need to prepare your brand to grow a virtual brand. So all these things will all be done for you. And if these are the five points that are stopping you from going uh, digital, uh, do not worry. You now know that there's an agency here in Singapore that can help you uh, break through all these things quickly and establish a foothold onto e-commerce where your customers are already at, right? So I'll just take this chance to go through our solution pricing with you. Now our solution is $10,000 per project and you are eligible for $8,000 from Productivity Solution Grant. Now that leaves the cost of about $2,000. If your company qualify for SFEC, you will be able to get an additional 90% of support, leaving you with a cost of $200. So. Uh, my, my contact details are there uh, and if you require help, do not do not hesitate to contact us and I'll do my best, my team will do our best and to help you in going digital. So this is Jim from Firstcom, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much, Jim. Okay, next up, let's have Andy from iFoundries to present his solution. Andy? Hi, um, can you all hear me? Yep. Okay, so let me share my screen. So can, can everyone see my screen? Yes, looks good. Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Andy. I uh, represent uh, iFoundries and uh, in the next five minutes, I'll actually share with everyone uh, how businesses can actually build digital capabilities using uh, e-commerce. Firstly, according to reports by uh, Ernst and Young in 2019, uh, it was stated that more than half of SMEs uh, in Singapore and Southeast Asia are still in the early stages of their digital journey. However, this has changed uh, because uh, many businesses got really hit hard uh, during the COVID and also the economy downturn. So therefore, uh, e-commerce is no longer uh, being regarded as a secondary channel and businesses need to really reorientate every aspect of their business towards an e-commerce mindset. However, um, building an e-commerce uh, business is always not easy. And uh, there are a lot of e-commerce businesses around the world that actually uh, fail or, or, or even uh, having problems. So according to research, uh, these are some of the factors that actually affect why businesses actually uh, fail in uh, their e-commerce, uh, mainly due to uh, business models, to, to, to the adoption of wrong technology, to lack of experience, to even advertising wastage. So in order to actually overcome uh, uh, these this, this, this challenges, uh, you definitely need to actually craft your e-commerce strategy first before even uh, jumping into the various uh, uh, e-commerce platforms or e-commerce market free strategies. So firstly, you need to actually determine who are your customers and how are they actually buying online and what is their journey when they actually buy online. 
So with this and incorporating with what we call the four pillars of uh, e-commerce success, uh, you will be able to actually achieve a successful and sustainable e-commerce business. It's mainly strategy. Then after how you actually audit and actually conceptualize an uh, e-commerce strategy with the objective not only to actually generate online sales, but grow and actually sustain it. Identify digital assets and some of the uh, tracking tools that you actually required for your e-commerce business. Implementation, how you actually develop a platform that actually focus on user experience for higher conversion and how you actually leverage the various marketplace for further sales outreach and how you actually adopt instant messaging and chatbots for real-time customer service. Automation, how you actually integrate this platform with uh, automation technologies for online and effective customer engagement strategy, how to actually use those workflows and, and personalize your customer experience for your marketing and sales. Marketing, how you actually identify your marketing needs so as to actually drive awareness and demand, how you actually make use of content marketing strategy to increase your brand and product visibility, and how you actually do your retargeting strategies to actually re-engage uh, visitors or your customers. So, so I found as came out with a jumpstart package whereby we actually focus on these three channels from traffic generation to digital channel creation to customer retention. Everything will actually be set up for you prior beforehand, before you even launch your e-commerce uh, business. So all you need to do at the end of the day, is just need to activate uh, all the assets in the traffic generation, all the assets in digital channel, and all the assets in customer retention, and your business is undergo. These are two case studies of uh, businesses that are of different uh, business nature and how they actually overcome uh, different uh, challenges to actually uh, in the uh, COVID situation to actually grow then after that uh, and sustain their business using e-commerce. So why use us? Firstly, we actually help you to actually build a viable business channels using strategy and actually technology. And we are holistic that actually covers the whole customer journey from all the way from traffic generation to conversion to even customer engagement. Then after that, we have uh, digital tools that are capable that provide data to help you to actually make business decisions uh, better. And uh, we have more than 15 years of experience to help you to businesses across different industry to build their digital capabilities. Of course, we have various fundings and financial options available to actually jumpstart your e-commerce business. So this is how you can actually get in touch with me. So for any questions, uh, you can actually feel free to actually drop me a call or drop me an email and I hand it over to uh, Song Xie. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much, Andy. Next up, we have Juvi from Shopmatic to present her solution. Juvi. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me just start by sharing my video first and thank you to SG Tech for arranging this sharing session. I'm going to share with you my screen now. Sorry. All right, just to share very quickly about Shopmatic, uh, we are a Singapore-based e-commerce enabler, and we provide a platform for SMEs to be able to set up their e-commerce store easily. Um, this is just to share Shopmatic features at a glance. We basically enable SMEs in launching their omni-channel business with the integrated business solutions available on our platform. Uh, what we offer are different business tools that actually allows you to make your business available in all channels, not just for e-commerce, but in all points where your customers are able to reach you, such as your offline retail channels, so we have a POS system available on the platform, and we are also able to integrate you to all marketplaces such as Qten, Lazada, and Shopee, and social media channels like Facebook as well, so that you can manage all of your customer um, entry points in one platform. Just to share with you uh, some of the uh, tools available on Shopmatic, you have a dashboard for insights and analytics to help you run your business, more efficiently, you have an intuitive design builder so that you will no longer require additional external help to help you maintain your online website and you can keep your, your presence online 
up to date without any technological barriers. Uh, we also have a easy to use product catalog for those businesses who have fast moving goods. And if you require to manage and upkeep your store using your mobile phone, we also have a mobile app which is available via Google Play Store and you can just manage your product catalog on the go. Um, thirdly, we have an order management dashboard that allows you to manage and fulfill your orders efficiently within your platform. In our system, you can, you can manage your sales from you know, your offline channels like your POS. You can also manage your sales, of course, from your e-commerce store. And you can also manage your sales from Marketplace's platform through our Marketplace integration, which is coming into here multi-sales channel. On our system, you're able to manage all the different channels where your customers are at, and that provides you the efficiency of you know, reducing time in going from one place to another just to fulfill your orders. Lastly, we have marketing modules built in on the platform to ensure that you are able to continuously connect with different promotions and different um, customer engage engagement features available on Shopmatic. And you can also do your digital advertising to better reach your customers through our platform as well. Going into our solution, we do have a grant solution available for SMEs or qualifying SMEs in Singapore called the Shopmatic Pro Concierge Package. Um, what you need to know about Shopmatic is that we are a software as a service and basically we have created an amazing platform which is super simple and easy to use. However, we are very much aware that in Singapore, our SMEs still require that um, support in getting everything done um, immediately. So we've created this package to be able to advise you on what is the right structure for your business to go online. And we will do all the difficult part of setting it up from the creation of the pages available on your website making sure that they are responsive in all devices that your customers are able to use. And enabling and activating all the e-commerce integrations that you need in order to run your business. Beyond this, we also help you in doing up, um, you know, professional content creation to make sure that your website is relevant and engaging to the customers. At the end of this, we also activate a 12 month subscription plan to your account. And why this is great for you is that whatever benefits our users have, with our continuously improving platform, you get to enjoy this as, um, as long as you are um, you know, a subscribed user of Shopmatic. Lastly, we will also ensure that you are able to do your business continuously using Shopmatic. And because it's super simple and easy to use, you can transfer the knowledge between one user to another within your organization so that there's, um, there's uh, knowledge sharing and there's continuity within your business. In terms of the cost, um, this particular package is worth $3,000. And after the subsidy of 80% uh, from the Productivity and Solutions Grant, your only cost outlay is $600. Of course, for this particular solution, you need to meet the grant requirements, which has also been shared earlier, which is um, a Singapore registered business, 30% local shareholding, less than 200 um, employees, or um, not more than 100 million in annual turnover. If, for instance, your company do not meet the, the above requirements and you cannot um, uh, take the grant solution, we do offer um, some special promotions on our subscription plans um, where you can avail of um, these discounts as, she, as seen on the screen um, if you take up a subscription package with Shopmatic. So I'll leave the screen for a while so you can take note of our promotion codes. Um, otherwise, you can reach out to me after the webinar. Um, to, to get more information on this promo. Lastly, we also offer all of our webinars. We provide sharing and knowledge sessions for our users to ensure that they are fully able to um, bring their business online. Um, and this is now accessible to all Shopmatic users. Um, some of the business segments that we serve, um, of course, if you are on retail, we are able to serve your business. Um, but if you're also doing business services or corporate business, we are also able to help you take your business online. Some of our clients um, in the fashion and retail industry and um, businesses who are doing consumer goods. Uh, we also have offline retailers um, who have moved and added their online sales channel through Shopmatic. 
and wholesale businesses who have created their B2C platforms for end consumers to buy. Um, just on the last slide, the Shopmatic Advantage and why you should um, come on board with us. The Shopmatic platform is designed to help merchants take their business into multiple channels and help them reach their customers in uh, different angles. Our solution is able to give you all the fundamental tools that you need to make this happen. Secondly, we are a partnership-based integration and with the, um, with the upcoming um, feature upgrades, you get to enjoy all of the benefits as we develop our platform for you. So we grow together. Thirdly, it is simplified to ensure that you can adopt the technology and continue to adapt to the you know, changing um, norms in the market. Thirdly, in terms of cost, um, it will not break your bank and I believe our platform is the most competitive. And lastly, we have support and knowledge resource available for you and our consultants will be able to handhold you throughout your e-commerce and omnichannel journey with us. Leaving you with my contact details here, if you have any inquiries, please reach out to us at the above um, email address and you can also scan this code here to go to our website. Uh, that is it for Shopmatic. Thank you so much. Um, passing it again to Sungjie to um, to continue the the session. All right. Thanks, Juvi. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, yeah. So as mentioned, we'll be going to the second Q and A portion right here. But before that, I'd like to share this QR code again. I know some of you all didn't manage to scan it just now, so it's on the screen. Uh, the post webinar industry survey. Please help us fill this up and give us your feedback also for any of the the themes or the topics that you would like to see for upcoming webinars. Uh, you may also indicate your interest for any of the solutions today that were presented to contact you for your interest. Okay, I'd like to pass the time now to Sharon for the Q&A. Sharon? Uh, sorry, Songjie, do we have one more speaker? Mm. Nope. Oh. Okay, hey, let me read out. Uh, let's see. So, um, is the Aaron asks, is the e-commerce boost package applicable to both marketplace or um, e-mall? If we have already opened a car market place after first April, will it be still eligible for boost package? Any of the panelists want to take this question? Hey, hi, I'm Elvin from ESG again. <clears throat> um, so the, as in, you have to go back to my as the earlier slides. Lah. So the e-commerce booster package has two as in, programs for domestic and for overseas, only for as in, the four local players, the Amazon, Lazada, Q10, and Shopee. For the as in, overseas one, it's actually with the enablers. So you have to check in with them to as in, see which are the overseas uh, marketplaces that they can onboard you to. For the Singapore one, it's only from 1st April, onboarded 1st April and beyond. For the, as in the, the overseas one, it's actually from 1st November. But the enhanced support only kicks in 1st April. Okay, thank you, Alvin. Yeah, uh, next we have a question. Oh, sorry, uh, I think the panelists have actually answered directly. So to Andy, um, from iFoundries, why do we need to consider a holistic? Strategy approach for an e-commerce business. Maybe Andy can, can share. Yeah. Sure. I think uh, the reason why a holistic uh, approach is actually essential so that to actually avoid uh, a lot of uh, wastage uh, in between the channels. Uh, if you have seen uh, one of the uh, slides that I actually has presented, uh, uh, one of the factors that actually why businesses, uh, e-commerce businesses fail is because of uh, wastage. So the, by thinking it on a holistic customer journey approach, you actually reduce the amount of wastage in between the channels and you can actually effectively actually uh, target and, and, and personalize their experience across the digital channels. That's why by thinking it holistically and focusing on how cu customers actually journey through the buying cycle, then after it will actually be uh, beneficial to how your actually uh, e-commerce business runs. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Andy. Yeah, uh, there's a question from James. My products involve customization and personalization. Our website reflects the customer's service. Um, 
Anyone want to take this question? Okay. Okay, I'll move on to the next one to Jim from FirstCon. Would you be able to share examples for business on IT products, Jim? Uh, IT products as in uh, electronics? This is a question from Gary. I'm not too sure. Um, oh. Yeah. I think uh, having having uh, built your own e-commerce website, uh, like I've said earlier, you are able to uh, control how the front end is. And, and we have also built e-commerce websites that are for like aircon servicing, where we integrate it together with uh, scheduling and availability for people to uh, take it on. So don't just uh, limit your, your going e-commerce journey into uh, merchandise and, and products. Like if you have a service, uh, there is also possibility for you to uh, start the journey into going e-commerce. Okay, thank you. And um, this is a question from Syed Ali. If our company already have a carousel account, can we get the support local retailers grant? Is this more for ESG or yeah? Uh, okay, actually I would like to um, take this. So actually the priority will be given to um, companies with a unique entity number that has not joined um, carousel before. But um, definitely, we will encourage you to actually try to submit your application because we want to hope have, we want to help as many businesses as possible. And for Carousel Grant, it's actually absolutely free for you to join. No fees for you to sell on Carousel. But if you're actually doing it on service, there's actually a listing fees. But at any point of time, if you find that you're enjoying the free Carol Bs and the number of coins and you want to optimize it further, you can let us know and we can um, talk about it if you are opting in for more um, resources. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. And um, for Jim, again, what's the difference between uh, marketplaces and having your own e-commerce website? Would you want to elaborate the advantages and disadvantages? Yeah, I think uh, the, the main difference between having your own e-commerce website and having your own marketplace is really the environment that you are choosing to set up your, your business, right? In a, in a marketplace, it's a very competitive and comparative landscape. So if you uh, put your products inside, uh, there are advantages you can leverage on the branding of the marketplaces, uh, but also it becomes uh, very competitive and comparative very, very quickly because the marketplaces may not uh, have their own inventory of products. Uh, on the other hand, having your own uh, e-commerce website, uh, while you may have uh, the luxury of uh, the full attention of your cu customers, but there are also uh, disadvantages such as you have to take care of the technicality of your of your of your own website. Where if you're on a marketplace, you may not need to take care of the technicality of your own website. So there are pros and cons, but ultimately they are all different sales channel. And 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 the advice is of course for you to be on as many sales channel as possible. Thank you, Jim. And um, let me see. There are still questions on grant. Um, let me just, yeah, I think there are still two questions on grant from Weeting and Shuping. What if our, we have our own website, any grant support to promote our travel page? And um, we have seen slides presented by solutions like FirstCom and such. You talk about grants. I believe this is more related to PSG, IMDA grant. Um, would ESG grants be also applicable for bespoke website? Maybe you can clarify a little bit because we have two types of solutions. Uh, the platform, uh, packages that you have mentioned in your earlier presentation and the other solutions that probably have uh, PSG grants. Elvis. Okay, so if you already have your website already, you can continue on your own now because that's, um, that's already a capability that you have. But if let's say you don't have a website and you want to build from scratch, you can actually look out for PSG solutions whereby you can actually build your own. So what's, what, what was the second question again? Mm, sorry, oh, okay. I think this one got moved. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Um, are ESG grants applicable for the sport website? I guess these two are the same, coming from yeah. different people. Yeah. So if you yeah. need to build your website from scratch, you can actually look at a PSG kind of grant to as in uh, to apply to as in get vendors to help you build. Yeah. So um, there's a question: If I want to build my own e-commerce platform and exclude PSG grant, is there any other grant? <laughs> if you don't get so, a PSG grant, I I'm uh, not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so if you understand how the whole EDG construct is, right, it, there must be a capability that as in uh, you are trying to build. So if let's say you already have the capability, right, then there's nothing that the government can actually as in give you. So unfortunately, there's no grant. 
Yeah, so I think essentially maybe what they're probably trying to say is if perhaps they were looking for vendors who, who happen not to be a PSG vendor, oh. then what happened, you know? Can they right. still find some other means or other grants to go about okay. and so let's get some of the things yeah. to be done? So if let's say, okay, so, so that's another discussion. So if let's say the vendors are not listed on the PSG, you can approach uh, SME centers or ourselves to as in, uh, scope out the project uh, for those that are not in the PSG list of the approved vendors. Hmm. Yeah. So what I understand here is essentially for all these e-commerce player, um, companies who are interested to go into the e-commerce platform, there's probably three routes, right? The first one is um, these four platforms that we already have the packages presented. And then there will be also some of the vendors here who already provide PSG solutions. So the third one is if you want to do something a bit different and unique that is not found in all these, you can always go into a, a separate discussion, right? All right. So, so you can speak system. to SME centers, can speak to SG Tech, or in fact, can speak to us to scope out a project. So as in, don't be as in, very alarmed. So I mean, a lot of SMEs like to ask, is there any grant? So there's always the, as in, the, the, the start of the conversation. Maybe you should frame it the other way. Tell us exactly what kind of help you need, what kind of capabilities that you want. Then we talk about grants because it may not be PSG, it may not be EDG. So it's very difficult. So if you start the discussion with a grant as a centric kind of question, then we will all be talking about that. So then yeah. it's the whole purpose of as in, what is your growth plan? How can I support you? Yeah, which you are, we will also indirectly have a reply, Irene, about web app development because app development will fall under. Um, if you found an app development solution that, that fits your needs on the PSG, yes, go ahead. If it's not, then yeah, have a separate conversation. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay, so um, there's a very interesting question. Um, this is more generic. Um, is there a way that we can understand the demographics of different platforms? Um, I'll leave the platform players to probably share any interesting insights that you can find online easily. Can I check the demographics if it's talking about the industry? The different Yeah, industry? maybe because I think one of the speakers earlier on has shared that um, maybe Shopee has a younger um, demographics and so on. Then how about Kuten? How about, I know, the rest, yeah, and so on, yeah. So if, if that's the case, uh, hope you don't mind if Shopee can share first our demographic. Yeah, sure. Justin. Uh, yeah. So uh, Shopee's demographic is um, quite feminine and also quite young. So uh, I think Sam is uh, around the spot there. Uh, our key audiences are from 18 to 35 year olds. So a lot of university students, a lot of young professionals, a lot of young families, uh, predominantly female, around 70 to 30. Yeah. All right. Let, let me just, uh, sorry. Can I share something? Yeah, Sam, go ahead. All right, so just to share a little bit, um, for the, in terms of the demographics wise, right, for at least Q10, from our, from our position, we, we started this business 10 years ago, and I've already been in this company itself for nine years. So in a way, I age, our shoppers age with us. All right, I'll be looking at you, Sharon, your typical profile. All right. So yeah. you have grown old with us. So it's like a household name. We are not perfect. All right. We, we have our, our, our nasty ne negative comments, but, but we have been in business. So we do know our demographics are the <clears throat> older ones like myself. <laughs> right. So we, we, we buy a different kind of spectrum from diapers. We know a lot of young parents, right? Diapers and things like that. So each, you, you will not, to the audience, you, you will probably will be very hard to get a true demographics breakdown but if you really want let me point you to where you can find them all right alexa.com is a amazon owned company that does the ranking you can get some insights okay it's neutral now the other one is similar web so it's similar as in difference is similar the similar web one word.com now these two sites will probably give you a very neutral point of view by the country if you want you can sort by country at least for Alexa. So you give a good idea of the bounce rate, the, 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 the linger time, how, how, how many minutes they spend, how many pages they, they, they view in each platform. So it's just a good snapshot. But at the end of the day, um, to all the viewers or the business owner, I think when we talk about competition, do not be fearful of the competition. I don't, the, the answer is not, where can I find a place where I can succeed without any competition from competitors? I think the answer is not that. Confront the reality is that we are facing more than e-commerce is more than Singapore today. We need to confront whether are we competitive as a country, as a company, as my product against overseas sellers. For example, China-based one. Now that gap is huge, right? So that, 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 uh, that adapting to the competition is very important. We just need to take the right mindset moving forward 
I mean, join any platform today. Like, I, I, you need not join us. Join any platform and then move on again and again and again. All right. So that's probably, that's my best advice from 10 plus years in this industry. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to add? If not, um, I will try to take in one last question. Um, this is actually directed to Amazon and um, the rest of you, if I cannot finish answering the question during this Q&A, uh, please feel free to just type directly on the Q&A itself while um, the panelists will stay online for another five to 10 minutes. And um, okay, this is the last question for Amazon. Can I sell in Amazon if my products are not ready stock and custom made fresh from order? Hi Sharon, and this is Alvin from Amazon. So uh, currently we do not allow pre-order on Amazon. So I think for this question, I will, will need to work directly with you. So understand to you, what do you mean by not ready made? Perhaps you can still list your product, but we can end something like a handing fee, a handing time to, to, ex, to share with the expectation of the seller. Maybe you will be able to dispatch between two to four days. So for not ready made product, then um, you will definitely have to go for seller fulfillment because your product is not ready. You can't store in our, in our warehouse. So um, broadly, this is my, my uh, advice, but perhaps just reach out to us so, so to have a deeper understanding of what you mean by not uh, ready stock product, so to see how you can leverage on Amazon to help your business. Okay, okay. One last one interesting question. I'll be not asking, uh, is that platform to market luxury products like fine jewelry? Yeah, the rest of the ESG questions, um, I'll probably get you guys to actually redirect, uh, just direct and write to ESG itself. So, and you all want to take up the question on fine jewelry? Yeah, I'll take this on, Reda from Lazada. Okay, Reda, yeah. Yeah, so I think that a uh, platform to market uh, luxury products, I mean, again, I would use the example that I used earlier of Lasmol um, as opposed to Lazada Marketplace. Uh, also because it's got control track shipping, so you can actually, uh, you know, when we sell luxury products, one of the key things is the fulfillment of it. So if you're on a model which has a more secure shipping and track shipping, then it makes it um, easier. Um, also, again, coming from the parent company, I mean, uh, Last Mall is like um, T-Mall and there's a lot of luxury being uh, done in um, the rest of Asia. So I think for Singapore, it's, a, it's time that we try and bring luxury online, and especially during these times where we know that customers cannot get out uh, to the malls and things like that. And this situation could continue. Uh, and also again, luxury is not an essential, but it is a feel good factor at times when you're not down. So um, yes, I think that if anybody is interested in luxury, they should uh, consider, you know, the more um, exclusive parts of all the platforms um, offerings, whether it's uh, Shopee or uh, Lazada or Q10. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so without uh, further ado, let me just pass this back to uh, Song Jie to close the session. Thank you. All right, thanks, Sharon, and thanks to all the participants and also the speakers for answering all those questions. All right, so we've come to near the end of our webinar. Um, yeah, just a reminder for everyone to complete, help us complete the post-webinar industry survey on the screen. You may scan the QR code. Alternatively, when you click Leave Meeting uh, on the Zoom, you'll be redirected to the survey as well. Yep. Yeah. So in the in the survey, you can um, direct any questions or I mean, you can indicate your interest for any of the solutions and any of the platforms contact you privately. Um, also, help us to indicate any interest um, for the, the future themes and topics for other webinars. Yeah, so we apologize that uh, for some of the questions, Questions we cannot take it uh, live uh, here. Uh, don't worry, uh, we will actually also pass the questions to the uh, respective vendors to, to share with you and ESG too. Yeah, but please feel please do fill up the survey. We really hope to get your feedback. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, we will just stay on the line for the next five ten minutes in case some of the panelists would like to just directly type into the Q and A. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So just before we we head off. Uh, special thanks to SPF, Enterprise Singapore, and also IMDA for jointly um, organizing this webinar with, uh, with us. Yeah, we, we hope all the attendees who have, be have benefited from today's webinar. And yeah, we hope to see you on our future webinars. Okay, bye.